Hey, Shalom, Shalom is well. First and foremost, we like to give our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Akakudash. To be honest, to the elders and the apostles of Great Mastone, Shalom to you, brothers and highways and byways, preaching and teaching these words in sincerity and in truth. This is your brother Shapal from the James Jamaica camp. You know, with a quick listen, you know, and you know, <laughs> Amen. There's a lot of things going on in this society, man, and, and there's a lot of uh, backwardness. And this is just one of them. You know what I mean? We'll just play the video and we'll just get some scripture to show you how gone our people is, man. By the way, you so called Negroes, Hispanics, Native American Indians, you're from the Native American, you're from the. <laughs> you're from the nation of Israel, man. Right? You're the, you're the Hebrew Israelite where the scriptures speak of. Right? The Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh. Right? The Son of the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh Shai. Alright? And, and um, you know, hey, we're sent over this side of the world to, to face our punishment, you know, um, and you can look where we're the lowest of the low, man, all right? So, we'll just play this video, and we're going to show you, right? Because we're kings of the earth, you know? You know I mean? That was preordained from the foundation of the earth, you know what I mean? So, we're going to show you um, how far, you know what I mean, um, how far we have fallen. You know what I mean? And basically, uh, mainly the women of our nation. Alright? So, we'll just get into this video and then we'll just pull some scriptures just to show. We promoted you on the program today. We had a lot of flyers out. And the headline of sort was saying Kenya K. Stevens, a woman with two husbands, one boyfriend. Yes. Sure that that is correct. That's the correct headline, correct? That's incorrect. I have two husbands and more than one boyfriend. I have many partners. <laughs> oh, so it's incorrect. You have more than one, more than, more than one boyfriend. boyfriend. Pause. All right. Uh, let's first scripture one get man because that is straight word them. You know. Hey, you couldn't even let this video play all the way out, man. You know, without shooting out the, the, the stupid points. But you see, that's, that's, that's the thing, you know. Because the scriptures say, um, the two main scriptures that just pop up on my mind, right? This is Jeremiah, Jeremiah 31 and verse 22. He said, How long will you go about the backsliding daughters? For the Lord had created a new thing in the hurt, and a woman shall come past a man. Right? So when you speak about those backsliding daughters, you just speak about us as, as men of the Lord, man. Because we are the bride, you know what I mean? Yahweh Shai is the bridegroom. Alright? Right? And we have backslide, meaning we have transgressed the laws, man. And that's why we are, we are in this predicament. Alright? See? So because of that, man, the Lord turned the table on us. You know? So the Lord said, the scripture says, the Lord created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. And the word compass there means to go around a man. Right? And the reason why I bring out the scripture, man, because during the, 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 the um, if you read the scriptures, right, ones out there, you know, you know that a, a man, right, is supposed to, right, I will not supposed to, you can, you know what I mean, right, have more than one woman. The scripture actually supports that, all right? But that was a, a thing for, for men. King Solomon have a lot of women. King David had a lot of women, all right? All right? Our forefathers have a lot of women, man, right? See? Now, you know, this society, when we look, you know, you have this female here, all right? Um, on the interview, saying that, look, she have what, two husbands, Right? And a lot of boyfriends. You know what I mean? And that's straight hoedom, man. Right? It is nothing to be looked up on. All those scriptures say they, that are highly esteemed, which is the woman, you know, in this society, are, are an abomination. Right? See? This is an abomination, man. This is an abomination. This is a vile act, an abomination, man. Let me read this scripture. This is Deuteronomy 23 and verse 17. There shall be no whores of the daughters of Israel, nor no sodomite of the sons of Israel. Alright? And this is being whored, man. Alright? This is whoredom. 
all right and no matter what scientific name because you know they have a name for it now polyamorous you know what i mean all of these 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 titles you know what i mean but the real title it, it is 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 whoredom man right and adulterous man and 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 and, and you're defiling yourself right you're devaluating yourself man you're defiling yourself man but guess what this is babylon and this is what babylon pushes man the society accepts that you know and give women liberty to do what they want you know so let's play the video again and just you know pick out some more of the points there man and bring out the scriptures you know just to show i have two husbands yes who live in my house that's been for a very long time almost two years both have lived here but i also have many partners outside the home as well and let me just add that look even though she is coming out and saying this man a lot of women out here in this society whether you want to believe it or not whether you want to um give you you you, 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 you donate your jewels to them you know what i mean but this is all the normal woman this is the mindset of even a common woman you know what i mean they jump the carousel and ride the carousel from tom dick and harry you know what i mean this is their mindset it's just because this woman is coming out plain and straight on record you know what i mean it's it that is the case what in jamaica you have what woman having a man all right and then guess what them have another man one for pay the bills you know one for sexual favors you know what i mean and you know there's some get a youth where you know them kind of like him vibes and him sauce and you know just decide to say hey you know but that's how women are man right that's how women are in this society, all right? Continue to be them. Right. Oh, because I love humans. Because I'm a natural woman. I love attention. I love affection. I love touch. I love to connect. I love to um, do the things that I like to do, and I don't like to force men to do them. So if one man doesn't want to do something, I want to go skiing. My husband doesn't like to go skiing. I have someone to go skiing with. My husband doesn't want to play chess. I have. And that's pride, man. And you can hear the authority coming from her. If her husband doesn't want to do this, right? you know, and you know, she have another. That's look, that's straight up rebellion, right? There's a straight up rebellious um, woman, right? She refused to keep one man because she wants to do what she feels. You understand? She want to be free. She want. She don't want nobody to quote unquote tie her down, man. You know what I mean? That's what these women are. You know, they want to be loose out there, man. You know, that's who they are. And we'll get a scripture to really prove that, man. But just, just, just keep listening. Someone to play chess with. Um, all of these relationships don't necessarily have to be sensual, but most are sensual and many are sexual. But yes, I'm, I do it because I'm a natural human and this is how a natural human might uh, um, behave if it weren't for societal rules and norms that have taught us otherwise. Right. What is the correct terminology? for a female because i know what monogamy i know what polygamy right what is the correct terminology for a woman having many more than one husband and multiple partners a woman who has more than one husband where the husbands are not allowed to go with other women that's called polyandry i'm not polyandrous i'm polyamorous so my husbands have other partners i have other partners my boyfriends have other partners. Nobody owns the other. Right. Okay. So, what about the possessive factor? I mean, as a child, you know that this is your shoe. Don't wear your brother's shoe. Right? But we all learned a sense of possessiveness. Yes. Did you say we all learned it? Because that is the fact of the matter. We all learned a sense of possessiveness we were all born with an ego with an animal with a higher self but that ego was trained if we grew up in any western civilization uh, uh, of post-colonialism we learned possessiveness this was not something that's innate for humans and that fun's name we're wearing uh this female is given man it's it's look it's it's whoredom man all right it's whoredom that's the whole definition of it man all right see so no matter how <laughs> you know no matter how um let's see 
no matter how uh, this woman would like to put it, you know, it's whoredom, man. Right? So look, look at, look at, even, all right, look at it. A dog, all right? Just, just view this, you know what I mean, in a one's mind, as it is, right? A simple dog, you know? A simple dog, all right, on the street. You know what I mean? A simple dog on the street. You know, when a dog reach the that 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 uh, season or that time. You know what I mean to to um to get pregnant. Then let's let's just use that word. All right. What you see happen? A bunch of male dogs, bulldogs. You know. Or let's, let's just call them male dogs. All right. You know, would, would come over and, and each would take turns jumping. That dog. Right? Now this is no different from what this woman is speaking about. Alright? And we know a female dog is called what? A bitch. You know? So obviously this woman is portraying the same mindset. But guess what? In a society she would be lifted up, worshipped, you know what I mean, for her so-called independence, quote-unquote independence, you know what I mean, and her free will to do whatever she... You see, this is the thing, man. You see, when there is no harder, when there is no harder, you know what I mean, and there is no... When there is no harder, right, and there is no laws and statutes, we govern this world through righteousness. This is what we have. This is what we have, man. Right? Let's just continue the video. And this is the thing, man. She's speaking about what she would want her children to grow up and, and um, you know, know or not know or not do, you know, or learn basically, you know. And this lifestyle which she she live in, this is really how um, a woman would want her children. You see, this is the thing, man. When you give a woman, you know, I'm at all, let's just get the scripture. Let's just get the scripture, man. Let's just get the scripture. This is um. Spare me a minute, you know, out in the park and opening, you know, um, oh boy. This is Ecclesiastes 25 and verse uh, 24. It says, of the woman, of the woman come the beginning of sin, and to her we all die. Right? So of the woman come the beginning of sin, man. He was the one who went off, you know what I mean? He was the one who went off, man. And cause Adam to go off, you know, which was preordained or predestined, you know what I mean? But just to show you the mindset of the woman, weak and a feeble mindset, you know what I mean? There's no, there's no guidance, there's no, you know what I mean? A woman without guidance, man, is a dangerous woman, you know what I mean? Worse if she's left uh, uh, willfully with, with, with a lot of uh, uh, messed up thoughts. And this is what you get. This is what our society gives, man, because Esau... Right, the so-called white man gives a woman liberty and take away the control from the men to control the woman. You know what I mean? And give them what? Independence. See? And they are like little children, man. And this is the start of madness. When you left a little child come up to themselves, them think up a lot, of, a lot of madness. And this is just one of them. Verse 25, Ecclesiastes 25, verse 25 says, Give the water no passage, neither wicked woman liberty to get abroad. If she will not go if she go not as thou wouldest cut her 
um, slack egg. If she go not as thou wouldest have her, cut her off from thy flesh and give her a bill of divorce and let her go. See? So basically, that's what the scripture recommends, man. A woman who will not hear you, you know what I mean, being disobedient and such, such as this woman, because the main fact is she don't want to have one man, is just being rebellious, right? That shows that she has a rebellious spirit, and that's not a trait of a woman that is, uh, as the scripture I refer to them, a comely and delicate woman, you know, that's how a woman used to be, all right? Um, yeah, so we'll just continue and get some more scripture, right? Hey, and, and that's not her choice to make, man. That's the man's choice, you know, for go out there, you know what I mean, get her woman and bring home. And, they, you know, but on her side, she want to basically do the same. That's basically what she's saying, you know. But, you know, let's that continue. Terminology and po po polygamous. Polygamy means that my husband would be allowed to have many women, but I don't, I'm not allowed to have other men. That's the thing, man. That's rebellion. That is rebellion, man. That is rebellion. And that, that's what we are talking about from the beginning of this thing, man. Right? A evil and rebellious woman. That's what she is. You know what I mean? So that is a whole different terminology. It's a whole different set of understandings. For him to be able to have so many women, and I don't have any other men. I'm just him. That's, that's the way it's supposed to be. That's the way it's supposed to be. Um, Ecclesiastes 26 and verse 8 it says, A drunken woman and a get um, a drunken woman and a get abroad cause it a great hunger, and she will not cover her own shame. The whoredom of a woman may be look may be known in her hearty looks and highly. Check the eyes out, man. Check all of that highlash. You know, check all of that makeup. Alright, this 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 is the trait of a whoredom woman. Alright? A whorish woman. Right? Um, it continues to say, if thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straight. This is a shameless woman. At least she abuse herself over much liberty. And that's what happened in She's abusing herself over much liberty. And she's a shameless woman. That's why the fathers, right, it begins with the father. I mean, the father is the one who's supposed to be in the house. You know, maneuvering. Because if, and I'm not saying I know. Her situation was she was brought up or if her father is in her life and anything, but I know for a fact that any well thinking father would look on this act and, and be ashamed of her daughter, man. And if it was in the time of Israel, well, she, she would be put out of her misery a long time ago, you know what I mean? But the father would also be ashamed, you know? I say, say for her daughter, right? Um, so watch over and him watch over and him that high and marvel not if she trespass against thee. She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveller when he had found a fountain and drink of every water near her. Right? Um, by every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver to every harrow. Right, and that's that's basically an analogy of she's sleeping around me. Right? So let's finish this video and you know. Yeah, man, you're, you're the property of someone else, man. You're, you're, not, you're not, you don't own nothing. 
Right? You don't own nothing, man. Right? You're the property of someone else. Goddamn people spraying all this madness in the air, man. Yeah, anyway. Yo, we got to get the hell up out of this place, bro. Brothers, yo, we got to get the hell up out of this place, man. Alright? Um, Ecclesiasticus. Damn. It's getting too much. Ecclesiasticus 42 and verse um, verse 9. So it said, The father wake it for the daughter. Right? Um, when no man know it. And the care for her, take it away, sleep. So when she's young, least she pass away the flooring of her age and married, least she should be hated. Alright? So that is, that's the reason why um, let's just read that from, from top again. So the father wake it for the daughter when no man know it. And the care for her take it away sleep. When she is young, least she pass away the flooring of her age and being married, um, least she should be hated. See, so at least she should be um, having sex in her father's house. You know what I mean? Her father's supposed to watch over that. You know what I mean? I see to it that she ain't doing the things that is not um conducive or that is not um against her father's will all right verse 10 in her virginity least she should be defiled and gotten with child in her father's house and having a an husband least she should misbehave herself right and when she is married least she should be barren all right Keep a sure watch over a shameless daughter. Least she make thee a laughing stock to thine enemies. Alright? And a byword in the city and a reproach among the people and make thee a shame before the multitude. So it is a thing where the men or the fathers, men, right, is supposed to guide the daughter. You know what I mean? They're supposed to, they're supposed to keep a watch. Uh, um, watch over them with a watchful eye. You know what I mean? That's things like this doesn't happen, man. So this is the end product when a lot of these things of the scriptures is not being implemented or fulfilled. When unjust men and unrighteous men ruled the hurt, this is what we have, man. Madness. Ecclesiasticus 7 and again in verse 24. Thou art daughter, daughters, right? Have a care of their bodies. And show not thyself cheerful towards them. Marry thy daughter, and so shall thou have performed a weighty matter. But give her to a man of understanding. Right? Give her to what? A man of understanding, man. So a, a woman was a gift to a man. Alright? A woman is a gift to a man. Alright? So that, that's how it was, man. You know, you, you come and you, you give a daughter to a man of understanding, man. Right? And she would now take over that household, man, and um, in her lot, you know what I mean, as being a wife of a, of a, um, a righteous man. You know, but hey, it's society, man, it, it's, it's just total, total madness. You know what I mean, people just get up and do whatever the hell they want. You know what I mean, and that's not conducive to life, man. That's, 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 it's not in line with life, man, and the principles of life, you know. See, and that's the, the scriptures are the reason why it say um, you're not supposed to commit adultery, you're not supposed to be a whore. You know what I mean? There are reasons, and very good reasons, man. Right? But hey, you know, Jake will always be Jake, man. You know what I mean? Jake will always be Jake. Alright, so hey, with that, I want to say, yo, you know, call it all your house, wash me out, shy, man. Yeah, we like to give our praises and our glory to you. How about you, Shai? Watch your Makal Kodash, the Barnes, the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to you, brothers, in the highways and the byways, preaching, teaching this word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom.